Chapter 6 Looping Statements in Python Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Comprehend looping statements in Python Traverse elements using loops Know the working of the range function Know the operations of for and while loops Warm up, play the game Teachers note Guide students about the loop game. Introduce them with the loop statement in Python. What if something has to be printed 100 times? You need to type 100 times which seems time consuming. So, this is where the loop plays a very important role. Hello friends, let's learn about the looping statement in Python. The idea of a loop enables us to execute program instruction repeatedly without having to repeatedly write the same ones. The successful execution of loop depends on the condition. As long as the condition returns, true the statements continue to run. The loop ends automatically when the condition returns false. For example, mother gives you a bowl of rice. You won't eat up at once. You start with the first spoon, then second and so on. In this manner, you finish your rice after several tablespoons of eating. Let's say 8. Let's examine the program-based loop example. Let the control variable be A. In this example, we have taken the initial value of A as 0. When you eat the first spoon, the value of A becomes 1. After the second, its value becomes A is equal to A plus 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and so on. The value increases every time the process repeats. After being increased, the control variable C will be evaluated to the maximum number of repetition which is 8 round. Start, take start eating as A. Let A is equal to 0. Are the number of time you eat greater than or equal to 8 bracket A? Smaller than is equal to 8? Question mark. No. A is equal to A plus 1. Take more rounds. Yes. Stop. It will keep going till the value of A equals 8. This indicates that the loop will repeat itself 8 times before coming to an end. Do you know? The use of loops in programming has the benefit of reducing both the number of instruction and the amount of memory required. Python uses loops to iterate through sequence elements. Two different types of loop are available in Python for use in looping operations. For loop, while loop, for loop. The for loop is used to repeatedly iterate over a sequence values. These values can be either string, list or tuple values. The control variable determines whether each value in the sequence has been traversed or not with each iteration. Traversal is the process of accessing elements in a sequence one at a time. The for loop's body is no longer performed once all the values in the sequence have been transferred. Instead, control is passed to the statement that comes next. The for loop statement is used when you know the number of iterations beforehand. Let me answer. How would you define a loop? The for loop is called a counting loop. Program printing the characters of a string. For letters in apples, print current letter, letter. Program printing the items of a list. SDGS is equal to bracket women empowerment, comma, girls education, comma, gender equality bracket. For goal in SDGs, print current goal, girl. Loop control statement. There are three loop control statement in Python. These are used to alter how the loop typically operates. Break statements. The break statements and the loop statement and shift control to the statement that comes right after the loop. Program using break statement SDGS, Women Empowerment, Girls Education, Gender Equality for goal in SDGs. If goal is equal to Women Empowerment, print goal, 
break this will print only women empowerment and stop the execution of the loop although more items are present in the list continue statement this command causes the loop to skip the remaining portion of its body and to retest its condition right away before updating the loop variable program using continue statement to not print women empowerment sdgs is equal to women empowerment girls education gender equality for goal in sdgs if goal is equal to women empowerment continue print goal this will print the other item of the list except women empowerment pass statements pass statements are used to create empty loops infinite loop if a condition never evaluates to false a loop become infinite it occurs to become the loop either lacks a terminating condition or has a requirement that can never be satisfied as a result a never ending cycle is created it is known as an infinite loop program write a program to display an endless loop var is equal to 1 while var is equal to 1 number is equal to input enter a number print your entered number while loop in the while loop if the specified condition is true a series of statement will be carried out prior to starting the body of the loop the condition is tested one statement or a group of statements could be found in the loop body The statement that comes straight after the loop receives control when the condition is changed to false. It's referred to as conditional loop. Syntax while expression statements the body of the loop is skipped and the statement that comes after it is performed if the condition is first found to be false. Remember it. Python group statement using identification as a grouping strategy. Program Write a program to print all the numbers up to the number entered by the user. N is equal to input enter a number while n is smaller than 0. Print n. N is equal to n minus 1. The user is prompted to input a number in this section. The condition is checked first then the number is entered. Since 4 was entered, the condition is and so 4 is printed according to the first statement inside the loop body. The value of n is then decreased by 1 making it 3 4 minus 1 the operation is repeated after returning to the loop's first statement to check the condition as a result the loop runs four times until the value of n equals 0 at which point the condition will be considered false after the while loop control will move to the statement get iq write a program to print the odd numbers between 1 and 30 let's recall The idea of a loop enables us to execute program instruction repeatedly without having to repeatedly write the same ones. The for loop is also called a counting loop. The break statement ends the loop statement and shift control to the statement that comes right after the loop. In the while loop, if the specified condition is true, a series of statement will be carried out. If a condition never evaluates to false, a loop become infinite. upskill your intelligence a fill in the blanks one the successful execution of the loop depends on the dash answer condition two there are dash loop control statements in python answer three three dash is the process of accessing elements in a sequence one at a time answer traversal four if a condition never evaluates to false a loop becomes dash answer infinite 5 dash command causes the loop to skip the remaining portion of its body and to retest its condition right away before updating the loop variable answer continue statement b answer in one word 1 a loop that tests the condition before executing the loop body answer while loop 2 it is also called a conditional loop answer while loop 3 accessing the elements of the loop one by one answer traversal 4 it is also called a counting loop answer for loop 5 this statement ends the loop statement and shift control to the statement that comes right after the loop answer break statement c answer the following questions 
वन वट आर लूप्स गिव रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स आंसर द आइडिया ऑफ अ लूप एनेबल्स अस टू एग्जीक्यूट प्रोग्राम इंस्ट्रक्शन रिपीटेडली विदाउट हैविंग टू रिपीटेडली राइट द सेम वंस द सक्सेसफुल एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द लूप डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल मदर गिव्स यू अ बाउल ऑफ राइस यू वॉन्ट ईट अप एट वंस यू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्पून then the second and so on in this manner you finish your rice after several tablespoons of eating two what is an infinite loop answer if a condition never evaluates to false a loop become infinite it occurs because the loop either lacks a terminating condition or has a requirement that can never be satisfied as a result a never ending cycle is created it is known as an infinite loop Three state the difference between for loop and while loop answer difference between for loop and while loop for loop one the for loop is used to repeatedly iterate over a sequence value while loop one in the while loop if the specified condition is true a series of statement will be carried out for loop two the for loop is also called a counting loop while loop Two, it's referred to as a conditional loop. Four, write a program to print all the numbers up to the number entered by the user. Answer: Ask students to do it by themselves. Five, what do you mean by continuous statements? Answer: Continuous statement. This command causes the loop to skip the remaining portion of its body and to retest its condition right away before updating the loop variable. Practical thinking is an infinite loop useful think and write answer as students to do it by themselves team work team up with your partner and write a program to find if the given number entered by the user is even or odd answer as students to do it by themselves